In this episode of Field Trips, I'm in North Texas with my buddy Max Moore, a fellow YouTuber and outdoorsman. I've got my home on wheels parked on his family's property, and he's going to show me a unique way to harvest some fresh, organic protein from right in his backyard. Oh. We're going frog hunting. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There we go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. All right, so we're coming down to the pond now. Max says this is, this is going to be our best bet here to begin with. we got neighborhood dogs barking at us. They're upset. I have no idea whether or not y'all can see me right now. This is my first time using these Psyonix cameras, but... Uh, theoretically, you can see my face right now. It is pitch black out here. There is uh, not much of a moon, no lights out here. So if you can see me, this is all the camera's doing. This is our first target for the night. We're gonna try to find some frogs. You promised me though we were not gonna be jumping in the pond to get these guys. No, we're not. But yeah, here he is, pretty close no. down here by the water's edge. No, I was just looking That's perfect. See all that? That's usually wet. Might be our best bet. It's good. We're going down to that muddy area. But there's some hard, dry dirt. Oh, so it's like water moccasin territory is what oh, this yeah, looks like. Oh, like uh, but this does look froggy. The thing you do is you don't watch for snakes. You make a lot of noise. So the snakes know, you, know you're coming. Really just stomp on the ground. Like, they feel the vibrations. Yeah. They'll feel it's coming. You just don't want to startle a snake. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. This is like dry creek bed right here. Tiny, tiny one, but that's a good sign. You see one? Uh, here, hold on. Just oh, I saw the tiny, tiny, tiny one. Yeah. Like tiny, but tiny. Like cricket size. Yeah, there's right. babies. There'll probably be bigger ones. Oh, right here next to me. Little guys? I don't know. Right here? I heard one right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's a lot of mud. That, that's a lot of I see him. That's pretty small, yeah, dude. But that's that's. But that's one. That's what we're looking for. Um, yeah, that's Look, and there's babies all around him. He's that's, almost big enough. He's not, you know. Almost. Yeah, those would be not even bite-sized legs. Let's go, let's go I'm hearing him up here, man. Or I'm hearing something. Listen. That is a green tree frog. Not what we're looking for. Cute little tree frog. Oh, oh. he just jumped on me. There he goes. Okay. You don't think he's good to eat? <laughs> <laughs> There's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's not the right type though. What? That's one of the warty kinds. That's a toad? Yeah. How can you tell? Look at him. I get it. Okay. So. We don't want these, the ones that have warts on them, you're saying that's not good to eat. Yeah, he is not. Because he that's a good size though. Yeah. And those are the legs we're looking size. for, but this guy is not good to eat, Max says. And there he goes. Yes. Alright buddy, well you sure lucky day. You were born the right species. Tell your homies we're coming for them. That was a good eye though, right? I spotted that guy from yeah, a long way away. Huh? I was just like, <laughs> rolling. Oh, 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 oh. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright, there's our target. Oh! Come on, chase him, chase him. Where'd he go? There he is. I still see him. I hear him. He's coming our way. I can see him through the camera, this Psyonix camera. How cool is this? I can spot these guys with this camera, man. We got some new, like, night vision techniques here we're about to right employ to outsmart these small amphibians. Oh, there he went. Yeah, I can see him perfectly in this. Hard. Harder than you think. Yeah, okay, okay, I see. But that's what we're like. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we found the... Oh, yeah, I see him. All right, all right. You ready? That's, that's perfect. Oh, look, dude, there's one right here, too. Oh, look, there's one in the water. It just swam down. I just saw it. No, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, They're jumping in the water. We're being too loud. Hold on, there's still one up here, too. Got one here. Yep. Biggin? What do you think? Where? Right here. Oh, yeah, get him. Kill. Get him. Kill shot. Get super close. I see him, yeah. Got him. Got him. 
Okay, yeah, hold on, hold on. Make sure it's not in between. Oh, you. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, I gotta get the. Are you gonna? You're gonna put him out of his misery? Yes, you are. Did that get him? That got him. Okay. That definitely got him. Hold on. Just one more time for safety. It's good. Being <laughs> humane. Humane. Max sure uh, yeah. shoot him in the head, put him out of their misery. Yeah, but you, there you you is my yourself. first oh, first frog. These are the guys we're looking for. These are the legs we'll be eating. They got these kind of like leopard spots. We don't really know exactly what species of frog they are, but as long as they're smooth skinned, they don't have the kind of warts, Max says they're good to eat. So these legs are going to be dinner. Yeah, they are. But hey, first gig shot. Nailed them. Yeah, you did. Did you bring anything to put these in? Uh, no. But mm, we'll, cool. I'll just guess put I'll put them in my pocket. pocket. Yeah. Well, I got it. I'll do it. Just a little got some bloody, in my right now. bloody frog well, corpse okay, look, look, in your pocket. I mean, I've got nasty. These are my workout side pants. So. Your workout side pants. It's your dead frog in the pocket <laughs> pants. <laughs> they're they're about to be. Right there. They're actually cute little frogs. <laughs> no, he's dead, dude. He's super dead. Okay, let's and now he's in your pocket. Yep. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, one for one. I took one shot. Got him. Yeah. You should wash those pants after tonight, bro. I'm gonna turn the pockets <laughs> I think that one's yours. Yeah, that's yours with the big liver, boy. With the liver hanging out. Oh, oh still. Oh. <laughs> dude, is he still alive? That's what I was saying. He's moving in yeah. my pocket. But there's a bullet. There's a bullet through there. Through his head. Oh man. Okay, hold on. I can't tell if that's reflexes or if that, like, you know, know, nerves or if that. That seemed like active escape. Number two. Man, about got a feast on our hands. Yeah, I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got it on the glow in the dark camera too. Nice. Night vision. Nice. All right, there it is. Frog number two for me. Max has got one. A little bit smaller guy, but. uh He'll eat. Man, if you can snipe a frog with a handgun, I'm going to be real impressed, bro. I don't believe it. I said I believe it. All right, guys, so we had our, our frog hunt last night. Uh, slightly unconventional harvest here, but now we're going to cook these guys up in the Keystone Cougar. Max Moore's here is gonna show us how he likes to cook these frogs up. I have no idea, so we're relying on his expertise, but uh, we got the camper here parked on their property. We can go in there and uh, get these guys cooked up. Have a little appetizer before dinner. All right, buddy. So what we got? What's the strategy here? Okay, so all we gotta do first is pick your delightful frog of choice. And I'm gonna be using the Gerber knife and the Scissors. <laughs> and you're gonna clean off the like the grass and your dirt. We don't want to eat that. No. You sure? No. I okay. mean, it's not seaweed. It's <laughs> neighborhood grass. Gotcha. Gotcha. So then you're gonna want to take your knife and make a small incision, like right where the legs end. Okay, so make an incision here where the legs meet the body. Yes. If anyone is unsure or was unclear, we are not eating a single part of these frogs except for the legs. These. Frog legs, they, they don't call it that for no reason. Yes. That's the good stuff. So then you're just gonna take your scissors. You're gonna cut the skin off all the way around the frog. So then you can just slide the skin right off the legs. So you're just gonna wanna take your nice and sharp knives. Don't. Don't use your mom's kitchen knives, that... Right, yes, if there are any scissors. children watching, please ask your parents permission first before you take their tools to your frog. Make sure they're on board with this decision. And there you go. Now, the guts should stay in their little pouches, and you're just gonna want to take the skin, not all the meat, take the skin of your frog and just Peel it Look right at that. off. Look at that. Peels right off. And then you're just gonna like it ain't no thing. Clean it. Kind of it's a little slippery, so you gotta get your fingernails out, which I don't have any. <laughs> Peel it off. You're gonna get that nice metallic y color. Take it, throw it in a little bowl or Tupperware. Yum. And Unless you wanna make some frog skin boots, in which case uh, you're gonna need a different tutorial than this video right here, but 
Assuming okay. you're not going to use the skin for some other project, yeah, I would, go ahead and discard that. I would use like big old bullfrogs for that. So. Yeah, it would take a lot of these frogs to make a pair of boots. Yeah, so then all you're going to do is take your scissors right where the legs end. You're just going to kind of chop off. And so that is what we're looking for, people. That is skinned frog legs ready to go. The toes stay on it, in case you were wondering. Nope. nope. <laughs> they oh, do no? not. Oh. So, Tell me. so if you want to just leave it like that, you can. I would highly suggest just taking your scissors, cutting the toes off, because it's kind of gross. <laughs> and those <laughs> can't really peel the skin off, and it's very disgusting. You don't and like eating frog toes? No. <laughs> I, I do not enjoy that. And All right, well, Max Moore here highly recommends you do not eat the frog toes. And then you can also take it and just cut it right in half and now you've got two separated ready to go you can leave it but i just like cutting them like that and that's gonna be dinner do the next one and then you're gonna do one okay okay touche yeah. that's fair just pull it right up that's my bb oh really that yeah so there it is yeah Smells really bad in yeah. here right I'm gonna now. Go ahead and throw away you might need to borrow out. You might need to borrow our diffuser. It'll <laughs> just make you smell like lemon in here. There you go, and then chop it speed. Uh, do not eat the head and the body unless you are doing a challenge. Unless you're actually in a survival situation, in which case, do whatever you feel is necessary. Actually, I think in the survival situation, you could take that skin and fry it up too. Make a chip out of it. Write that down, folks. The skin is not off limits. We should enjoy try that. that bad boy if you're desperate enough. I should kill our frogs later. <laughs> yeah. All right, and so we got the frog legs cleaned up. They're looking just super tasty. And now we're going to clean these guys up. So we'll get rid of the heads and bodies. I would highly not recommend licking your fingers. <laughs> And then we're going to show you how we're going to cook these guys up. We got a little prep done. And you need to clean up. What is this? Look at this. Yeah, yeah. This is... Well, okay. <laughs> this is the good stuff. That's this... the good stuff. I think we got seven. Yeah, we got seven. Seven, seven frogs. We're... Yep. We killed it, I oh, would say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally killed it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got all the ingredients here. I mean, basically, the, the general plan is we are going to pan fry these frogs, these pond frogs we've caught. Pretty much the same concept you would use to fry fish. So we're gonna have a Tupperware bowl full of flour that we're gonna season ourselves. We'll show you how we're gonna season it. We're gonna be use Tony's. Tony Shasharit, you know how to say this, Max? It's just Tony seasoning. It's just That's Tony's, what I yeah, call yeah. It. Well, Tony Shasharit, I don't, I don't know. It depends on where you're from, but I we're gonna say, dump a bunch of this stuff in. I just say Tony's weird name, yeah. or weird, weird. It's, it's Tony's. If you don't know Tony's, you're doing yourself a disservice. Some garlic powder, not garlic salt. You don't want to go too crazy and get too salty. We we'll use garlic powder and then some simple black pepper. Super simple. Which you know Robert's gonna put a lot of pepper because that's his game. Oh, you know, huh? Oh yeah, I do. I am a pepper fan. If you, if you got too much pepper, I don't even know you because uh, there is no such thing, so. All right, that's ready to go. We got the seasoned flour now, and then in this other Tupperware, we're gonna crack a couple eggs. And now, are these eggs from your chickens, or what? Where are these no, eggs come from? No, no. You um, can't tell me about these at the store. I know, just looking at them. Where, where'd your mom get these eggs? You know, at like a farmer's market. At a farmer's market. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, I, I was asking that because they have three roosters here on the property that have been driving me crazy the last uh, few, um, few weeks. Not three anymore. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a story for another time. Yeah. There were three. All right. So we're gonna crack egg number one. Put the shell with the frog guts. Egg number two. Uh, whenever you're mixing eggs, if you stab the yolk first, it makes it a lot easier to kind of consolidate all that. And we'll Cooking. just kind of whisk it together. Cooking with Robert Field. That's it, man. I used to watch a lot of uh, Food Network, so I'm pretty much an expert. Oh, so you're a... I don't know how to cook frogs, but I did stay at Holiday Inn Express last night, so it should be good. So you're a, uh, you're a chopped chef. I am basically a chopped chef, yes, that is what I'm trying to say. All right, and now the moment of truth. We're going to cook these bad boys up. So we're going to use some extra virgin olive oil. You could fry these guys up in anything, vegetable oil, avocado oil. He's used before, all kinds of stuff. doesn't really matter. 
Uh, when you're deep frying it matters, but when you're pan frying it's really kind of personal preference. I like the flavor of extra virgin olive oil, so we're gonna go with that. Is that on? I guess we could turn it on if you want to get turn. crazy with it. I mean, <laughs> for getting a key step like, here, make I, sure you turn your stove on. You were talking, and and I, I was like, hold on, one second. I kept putting my hand there, like, man, it's not getting hot yet. And so, the basic concept is we're going to take these frog legs here that we have cleaned, we're going to go egg wash first, and then coat them real nice in the seasoned flour, and then right in the pan. So, we'll mix these frog legs around make sure they're nice and evenly coated and then we're gonna go right from the egg wash and make a total mess in your tiny kitchen if you live in an RV and into the best way to do it is put those side by side oh yeah, yeah don't oof, let that go off that the edge close. that was close and you want a real nice coating so make sure you toss them really really nice and make sure you get all of your seasoning that's on the bottom yeah in there that looks super good. This is gonna be good. Light dusting. <laughs> Light dusting. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Yep. That'll be good. And oh, and it moves, by the way. And they continue to move. Yep. 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 Their legs are spread out. Oh, oh, that one just hardcore. Wow, he, he he's like still trying to get <laughs> go somewhere. All right, and so I mean, these guys have been on here for maybe 30 seconds. They're already browning up. Uh, going to go ahead and flip them once, but these are like already pretty much, pretty much done. I mean, this is uh, these are ready to go. So real quick, the small. Oh God! And welcome to our V life. We're any tiny bit of smoke. We are uh, be a fire alarm in off. a confined space. Life. This happens about every time I cook, but don't worry. Yep, yep, yep. Let's open a, we'll open a door. Okay. Uh, but yeah, these guys, I mean, these guys are done. Like that. This is good, man. They do. Those look like the bomb.com. <laughs> I've never been to the bomb.com, but if the bomb.com is full of fried frog legs from some kid's neighborhood pond. I, I don't know. That's... Count me in. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna wash my hands. Look at that. This will be good. You always want to squeeze lime through your fingers. Lemon. lemon, lime, tomato, tomato. Squeeze a lemon through your fingers to catch the seeds. I've never heard of that. Yeah. So the seeds don't get on your stuff. And now these are ready to go. We don't want to overpower them with lemons since, uh, Hey, there's no such thing in my book. Oh, is that right? All right. Well, yeah, well, you shrimp, tell me, man. Shrimp, fish, anything. I'll Lemon for days. What's the process here for eating these, young sir? Just, just put them in up, your mouth. And, and then you just got to watch the kneecap because that'll come off into your mouth. Don't forget this, guys. Pro tip, wash the kneecap when eating your neighborhood pond frogs. So, you can just eat the bread off of it, hold it high. <laughs> <in the kneecap. laughs> That's like one of those catch and cooks where it's like, you know, soak the board in water, put the blue fish on the board, blah, yeah. blah, blah, and then throw away the fish and eat the board. That's what he just said, no, you no, know, no. You just take... eat the breading and these aren't so bad. Yeah, <laughs> no, so you just hold it by the kneecap and then you just like slide your fi or your mouth over it and it'll just Basically, it right off. Basically, just like chicken wings. If you're a fan of wings, these are just frog wings. Except it has movable parts. Right, except so. it may jump off your cutting board. No big deal. Alright, man. In your mouth at my Cheers. Time. Bottoms up. That's not bad. Dude, that's really, really not bad. Like? I would even go so far as to say that that is good right there. <laughs> that is pretty tasty. Now again, if you're in a survival situation, plan on catching more than seven of them. But I'm not gonna lie, man, that's actually really good. That's yeah. really good. No, I'm not gonna go as far as saying this is the best thing I've ever eaten, but I'm not gonna say it's terrible. Certainly not. I would probably, redfish would still get my vote, I would say, over the, the pond frogs, but in terms of stuff you can catch in your own neighborhood I mean, and then consume them, this has gotta be at the top of the list. I mean, this, you don't really wanna eat something out of a pond, because you never know what gases might be leaking up. 
That actually is a very good point. Disclaimer, I know nothing about the frogs where you live. Reading these, uh, Max showed us last night the difference between frogs and toads. You do not want to eat toads. So if you're not sure on how to identify these guys, how to identify a frog that is edible, please do not take our word for it. Do not make an assumption. Do some research. Ask anyone, your local game warden, or ask me. Send me a picture. I'll give you my opinion. But uh, you do want to make sure that you're, you're getting the right frogs. But I'll tell you this, man. This is actually really good. And if you don't think about what you're eating... <laughs> If you don't think about how cute and pretty the pattern is on these guys, this is actually really, really tasty. I could eat about 100 of these. I'll yeah. Tell. Definitely. That's good, man. Max Moore, you just opened my eyes to a whole new, whole new genre, a whole new species. Amphibians are no longer off the menu. You're changing my life right now, man. That's good. I wish we had more. I know, right? I'm like trying to be polite and not let you, not eat them all. Like I, I, that was not what I was expecting. I was expecting like, yeah, that's good, and like spit it up off camera. That's actually delicious, man. It's. I was shocked. It's got the the taste of chicken. It's a very mild. There's not a strong flavor at all. So you could really season this with whatever. Uh, it's a little bit juicier than chicken, though. Yeah. I'm assuming that's the swamp <laughs> texture that I'm tasting, but but like these that's things, so good, man. That's they barely really good. you're gonna find them by ponds because grow from tadpoles, obviously. But they barely even like live in the water. They always live next to the water. Right. And the reason we are finding them on dry land is because they're coming up looking for those gnats that are in your face while you're playing football on the side of your yard. Yeah. And they're looking for those guys, and when they fly by, they just Grab them. Snatch them up. And we're over there. And if they're unlucky, Rob and Max are prowling their neighborhood. But yeah, guys, this is actually surprisingly good. So uh, I've realized now that I haven't done a normal catch and cook maybe ever in my, in my career. But while this may be a weird one, it may seem like a weird one, these are actually delicious. If you live in a neighborhood that's got some water nearby, you should not be overlooking these guys. That right there is a pretty delicious meal, something pretty creative, cool way to harvest some fresh, lean, organic protein from your neighborhood. Lean. It's got to be lean. I mean... There's no fat on these no, guys. No, I'm saying... That's that white meat. Definitely. No, the I'm, other white meat. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying definitely, definitely lean bites. Yeah, yeah, lean in the sense that you're not going to fill up on these guys. Well, look, I can't stop eating them. I know, I mean, it's really it's good. It's actually really good. But yeah, guys, so that's it. If you want to catch some amphibians, do a little catch and cook yourself in your neighborhood. Look for some frogs. They got to be the smooth skin ones. But thanks to Max Moore here for showing us how to catch these guys, showing us how to cook them up, clean them up, the whole nine. Yep. If you don't know, Max Moore here has his own YouTube channel. I'll put a link down in the description. Check him out. He's doing all kinds of fishing. He's also doing some creative stuff like hunting frogs. This guy's a rock star, especially at his age, so check him out. And yeah, I'll be hanging out here, parked on their property for maybe the next couple months, so you guys will be seeing more of Max and the rest of the Moore family. Yep. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that, that's, that's great. Like, like, look, I, we're like fighting over the last one. I, I didn't want to be rude and grab the last one, but I these mean, are I'm, actually here, really here. good. Nah, you got it, you got it, you got it. You're a growing boy, you, you, need your, you need your frog calories, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't say anything. Man. All right, fine. I'll it's probably it. one calorie. No, yeah. a half a calorie per frog. Yeah. You get on that frog diet, you're trying to lose some weight. Yeah. You could probably eat about 50 frogs a day and be in a calorie deficit. There's not much to them, but that's delicious. We got to go find some bigger frogs, bro. We, we need to. Like, where are the bullfrogs at? I know, right? If you know somewhere we can find some bullfrogs, some real-sized frogs, some man-sized frogs, let us know. Comment below. Maybe we'll come to your neck of the woods. I'll bring Max with me, and we'll go do uh, some bigger frog legs. But yeah. I'm so like upset that they're all gone. <laughs> that was actually really good. Yeah, we gotta go hunting. Yeah, hopefully the cold weather. Yeah, eats yeah. Up a little bit. Winter is approaching. They are on their way out. Uh, make sure one other thing, you guys. Make sure check the regulations for your state. Uh, but in most states, you do need a hunting license to go harvest frogs. It is not something you can really just go do. Now, if you're Max's age, if you're younger, it does not matter. But if you're an adult trying to go frog hunting, make sure you check out the regulations. I don't want you to get arrested coaching some frogs. 
<laughs> there is not that much meat. They are not that much worth it. But that was a wild surprise and just like yet another lesson that don't write something off. Do not knock it until you try it. I really can't say enough about those crumbs. Yeah, it's I can't believe good. I just devoured that on camera. I was like expecting to throw half of them away after we stopped recording. Yeah, I mean. I just inhaled those. Yep. And that's our cue to leave. <laughs> cut! And cut! <laughs> What's cool is like, I'll go look at that footage. It's taking pictures. <laughs> uh, there should be a mode button there on the go, side. There we go, there we go. Yeah. Gonna say that's how you still, or most action cameras are. You shut your mouth. Just kidding. You're absolutely right. Alright, you can get over here.